Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel and another music video reaction. So this is Laboom's Winter Story. I like Laboom as, as singers. I've seen them on variety shows a few times and I've listened to a few of their songs. I just never really actually reacted to them because they have so many songs. And so I thought it would be a good idea. Basically, I picked like six different kind of upbeat uh, Christmassy songs after skimming through like 15 and dropping off ones that I knew I wouldn't be interested in and I would just rate bad and it would piss people off. So I just picked songs that I think I would like. And one of those songs was this one, which was released in 2016. It's definitely one that I've never, I've only skimmed through, so I never really actually listened to it before, but I'm excited. Laboom is a group that debuted with six members and two members left in about 2018 or so. So now they're up to four. So now they only have four members left, but they've been around since 2014. And it's definitely a group that I want to react to eventually. But I thought it would be just a fun idea just because I saw this one under the Christmas song style for K-pop. And so I thought it would be a good one to react to first. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. I like how happy and cute it starts off. The aesthetics and the colors are really nice. Looks like it's going to be very cute compared to inserting their outfits. The beat kind of refine, kind of reminds me of a G Friend song. It's like a half rap style thing. The camera moves a lot, but overall, I like the visuals and the. They did that kind of like um, blurry effect to make it more ethereal. I like the special effects though, and like the overall set design. That it's more of an upbeat song too. Makes me happy. Ooh, nice. That was really great vocals right there. Oh, she's going for another one. <laughs> that was cute. It was definitely overly cute with like the dresses and everything like that, but overall, great visuals, great vocals. Love the the set and the music video design. Really brings everything together. Really nice touches here and there, like with special effects and things like that. And just overall, actually a really good music video and a really fun song. Um, I think I'm gonna rate this song a seven point four. Probably not my favorite song, but I did in but I did like it. I just don't think it'll go on the playlist. I love the vocals on this one. It was super nice. And just overall, I just felt like it was, like I've said, I like more of like the upbeat stuff. And this was like a, like a three steps behind from upbeat, but definitely a good song with, with nice vocal lines and everything like that. So I really did like it, which is why I'm going to give it a 7.4, like I said. So. I think that's going to be it, and I will see you in a few seconds for Twice as Merry and Happy. So this is a song that I've listened to once before, and I can't remember how I felt about it. I don't think I really liked it because it was more of a slow song, but I thought I would react to it again for the channel just to see if my thoughts have changed or how I feel about the song now, but I love Twice. So I thought I'd give this one another try as like the Christmas song special. So without further ado, I think we're just going to get right into it. I love the vocals right here. I always like whenever they look like they have fun filming. It makes me happy. Mm. Rapping feels really out of place. It looks like they went with like the 80s vibe right here too. Maybe switch back. Interesting. Oh, the present earrings I just noticed, nice. Is Momo carrying like cheese puffs or something? That's just <laughs> ridiculous. All right, and that was Twice as Merry and Happy. So love the vocals on this song, really nice. Really suits really suits the overall aesthetic of the song and everything's good. They look like they had a lot of fun, which I like. 
The rapping felt kind of out of place, which was really weird. Um, the set on the music video was fun and cutesy. And then the overall filming style, like, it, they went from, like, this style, like, full color to, like, 80s vibe. And then back, you know, things like that. Or I think it's 90s, actually. So overall, um, I remember why I didn't add this to my playlist originally. It just more slow and just... I love the vocals, but it's not really my kind of song. Which is why I'm going to rate this one a 7.4. I don't think it's a... Which is why I'm going to rate this song a 7.3. I don't think it's as good as Laboom's Winter Story. I definitely think it's a good song. Just not my style of song. But I do love the vocals a lot. And they're just the rapping flat out of place in general. So... I think that's going to be it for this video, actually. So, next video will be Super Junior's Tell Me Baby and then Billy's Snowy Night, which will round us off at the end for our Christmas special. So, thank you everyone for watching and have a great day. Thank you everyone for watching. If you want to support me, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content from me. And also leave a comment down below on what you think I should react to next. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can do so and you'll get early access to videos. There will also be polls so you can vote on what you think I should react to next. And also, if a video ever gets blocked or there's an active community strike against it, I'll take it down off of YouTube. And I'll put it on Patreon and I'll link it to my daily motion over there with the same channel name as the one I have currently. So time to stand. So just look it up and you can see all the videos over there. So right now, Squid Game is purposely on Daily Motion, and there's a two gig um, maximum. So it's basically chopped up into a bunch of parts. But I made a playlist with it, and so you can find the links all to that in my Patreon. And yeah, that's gonna be it. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.